Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to the 16th lecture of the Calculus video tutorial series. As you can see, I have written a problem statement. This is a very beautiful problem, but in order to understand this particular problem very easily, you have to watch lecture number 11 and 12, especially. And you must watch all the previous lectures of this tutorial series, okay? Then that will help you understand this problem very easily, okay? So let's start. As you can see the problem statement here, limit x tends to zero cos ax minus cos bx divided by x square. So before starting the solution, what you need to do is you have to uh, fix in your mind that what would be the approach to solve this problem. At first, you need to figure out what kind of formula that I have to use, I might use. So you can see that this is quite similar to this part, right? Cos c minus cos d. So you consider ax as c and bx as d, so you get this expression cos c minus cos d. So you will apply this formula here. So the first thing is settled. So we can write limit x tends to 0 and it would be become 2 sine c plus d by 2 into sine d minus c by 2. Okay. So you have a 2 here and then sine c plus d by 2. This is c, this is d. So it would be ax plus bx divided by 2 okay, times sine d minus c. So bx minus ax, bx minus ax divided by 2 and divided by x square. So very easy. Okay, I hope you won't face any trouble understanding this particular part. Now coming to the next line limit x tends to 0. So what we will do now is that we will split x square. So we will give 1x here and 1x there. We can do in this line also. So you do it here. So you write 1x here and 1x here. Okay. So x times x becomes x square. Now the most important part to adjust the theta. Okay. So sine this theta is equal to ax plus bx divided by 2, but you have only x here. And you have bx minus ax by 2, but you have only x here. Okay, So you have to adjust that. Before adjusting, let us do another thing. You just organize the part. So how do you organize? You have ax plus bx, so in both the terms you have x. So you can take x as common. Okay, So if you take x times a plus b by 2. Okay, you can write that. So it would become ax plus bx times sine. You can also write x and then it would be b minus a by 2. So it will help you to just write down, I mean to adjust the theta. So other than x, you have what? a plus b by 2. So you also should have here a plus b by 2. So you write a plus b by 2 here okay so you split this part okay so this part is adjusted so you have written extra what part a plus b by 2 so you divided this term with a plus b by 2 that's why you should multiply here with a plus b divided by 2 you understand so this a plus b by 2 and this a plus b by 2 will cancel out and you get get back to the previous line and here you had initially x but in the numerator, the theta is equal to x times b minus a by 2. So you should have a b minus a by 2. Okay, So you divided this part with b minus a by 2. That's why you should multiply this part with b minus a by 2. Okay, So the adjustment is done. Now the next part is very easy. How? So this part is sine theta by theta. Okay, Because if x is equal to 0, then sine x by x because uh, this part is equal to theta. Okay. So if x is 0, this part is also 0. Okay. So sin th sine theta by theta, this becomes equal to 1. And this part also becomes 1. Now you are left with this 2. So you divide this 2 and this 2. So what are we left with? a plus b times b minus a divided by 2. So you can write it as b plus a also. Okay. So you get b plus a times b minus a divided by 2. So you can write it as b square minus a square divided by 2. 
that is the final answer you see a very interesting problem a very beautiful problem i should say rather okay so i hope you understand this problem even if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section and if you find this videos helpful please uh, share this video also the channel among your friends and near ones so that everyone knows about this channel and if you are benefited then make sure that other students of your institutions are also benefited of this channel by sharing and letting them know okay and in the next lecture i'll discuss another exciting and interesting problem and till then stay with the channel assalamu alaikum allah hafiz